here to talk about XCOM Enemy Unknown, which was just released in 2012. This game is a take on original tactic game XCOM for Defense, which was released in 1994. For those who don't know, XCOM is a mix of strategy and tactics game in aliens taking over the Earth setting. So, how does it stand up to original? That's probably a question everybody is going to ask. Not so well, actually, as original, in my opinion, still remains a much better game. However, since original can only be described as awesome, amazing, mind-blowing, and any other adjective which is described as it's godly, this game is still good. So, what is so good about it? Well, in this new game, we actually have managed to recapture the spirit of original game really well. It is still, still the same game where player hunts down you, foes, manages tight resources, and then engages in tactical ground combat. Of course, with Green Dude. The RPG side of things is still strong. You will get attached to your veteran sol soldiers, nurture them, and make sure that they're still alive, making you care about every man of your six man squad, and making sure that they get home safe. The game is much more structured and I think that's a good thing. There is now a clear mission objective that drives the plot forward and you will know what you actually need to do to win the game. We have now introduced a tutorial mission which does a good job of introducing the basics of combat for newcomers and veterans alike as this is a new game so thumbs up for that. Now, moving on to the bad. The bad parts of it, now let's start with the most jarring issue in my opinion, is the AI. The AI does not roam the whole map. What it does, it patrols a small portion of the map and does not actively try to engage you, the player, any point of the map un until it's actually you. You first have to uncover the AI and then only then it engages. So you and what how the game plays is you explore the map, you find a patrol of two or three units, which is a patrol group, and then you engage them and kill them. Sometimes you may get unlucky and uh, there will be like four or five patrol groups all in one place and then you probably should reload your game because probably not a chance in hell you survive in that but on most of occasions you will slowly uncover the map you will see a patrol of two or three units which at that point it will scramble for cover and then your job will be to bring down those two or three units and then repeat the process all over again. For me, that most of the gameplay is consistent of killing two or three units at a time, it becomes very predict predictable and does not have this chaotic feel of the original of war, of destruction, of unpredictable shot in the back by an alien you missed. This is completely missing from this game. Which is really too bad. But I digress, that's the way it is. Now, a strong point is that we, it's no longer too possible to shoot walls for strategic purposes. Let's say you have a plasma rifle in the hand of one of the soldiers, and you know or you think that there is a big green dude right behind this wall of a supermarket. and you know this weapon can shoot through this fucking wall, but you can't do it unless you actually see see the alien, which is kind of absurd, but that's what it is. The only exception to that is the explosives. For example, you can load a grenade, but there's just one grenade or two grenades per mission, which you really don't want to use them for that. So, it's a drawback. Basically, the only available shooting targets are the uncovered aliens and that's it. There's also no uh, 
friendly fire, let's say alien, which is not, not nothing like, let's say alien is shooting at you, but your guys are punched up, and he misses one and hits another, like it happened in the original, there's nothing like that here. Basically, the targets are hit based with the roll, the roll of the die, and your shot either hits intended target or it doesn't and goes nowhere. There's no way to accidentally kill a green dude somewhere else that he's gone, which is really too bad. Another point which I'd like to talk about is the economy. It is different from original, it's not not much worse, but it's it's different. Let's say that I really, it's it's I I say that the economy is not a strong feature of this game because I really don't like how we forcibly eliminated all the options of actually gaining any funds for your XCOM, other than financing yourself by appeasing the council members of, of the countries. They are funding your project, which was in the original also, but there were all other options like, let's say, you can manufacture guns and sell them off to the general public on the black market and uh, make uh, tons of money for that. You also recovered much more artifacts, uh, artifacts for every uh, mission, which has uh, the guns would recover it all the other equipment recovered and it's sold for a fair chunk of money. Now the missions do not really give you all that much artifacts or anything to sell, so it's, it's very limited. The limitless, of, I'm, I'm not saying that the system is bad, I'm just saying that I don't like how limited it is. So that's another point I covered. So now let's move on for, to, for the kill, the verdict. I say this is a good game, definitely pick it up. It actually even seems better than it is because there hasn't been a tactic, good tactics game on the market for quite some time. Uh, I'm not including handheld platforms here. Plus games which were as good as this, or, well, maybe the games I'm going to name here are better, but not by that much. I'm talking about Company of Heroes and Valkyrie Profile, but they were released in 2006, and so it has been quite some time since a good tactics game had been on the market. So if you as starved as I was for a title like this, definitely pick it up. It's a good game. I recommend it. Very enjoyable to play. All in all, developers, good job. Could have been better. Thanks for listening and take care.